Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm inside new Skoda Fabia 2022 model and I want to show you how easy it is to connect the Android phone to the new multimedia system from Skoda. This multimedia system that I have it right here in Skoda Fabia 2022 model, you will find it also in other Skoda models, the new models, and you will see how easy it is. It's a wireless connection and it's super, super simple. So let me show you guys. First of all, what you will need is an Android phone or Apple phone, depend which phone you wanna connect it. I have Samsung S10 Plus right here with me and it's very simple. First of all, guys, let me go to the main menu so I will show you from the beginning. So first of all, you go to the smart link right here on the, on the media and then you will see this device right here. Then you go to the device, down here you have the connectivity. This is the Skoda that I have it with me. Then it will ask you, do you want to pair it? And then pair. And then here on the screen, you press yes. Okay, right now it's connected. Right here it's connected. You press allow, allow again. And then on the screen, use Android Auto. Press it once and then it's connected. Wait a few seconds and it's connected right now. And then you press here continuing. And that's it guys. That's it. All you have to do now, you can leave your phone down. It doesn't matter. Ah, by the way, don't forget to turn on the location on your phone because the navigation will not work. The Google map, it doesn't work if you don't turn on the location. And then you can leave your phone right here, wherever you want to leave it. And this is it, guys. This is the way how easy you connect the Android phone. And the great part is that Skoda on this new multimedia system use all the screen. So nothing left here, everything is Android. Uh, if you wanna go back to Skoda Multimedia System, you press this button and then you go to Skoda. It's very simple. And then right now you are in Skoda, you go to menu, you go to menu, you go to navigation, you go wherever you wanna go in the normal multimedia system of the Skoda. You can see also uh, the navigation from the car here. And if you wanna go back to Android, also in the corner here, it's show you you are Bluetooth connected, how much battery you have the phone and stuff like that. If you go back to menu, you will see right now it's show you Android Auto. So if you are connected, it already right here Android. And then you press it, you go to Android. Super simple. Here, of course, you have the Google map and it works relatively fast. If you set a destination, for example, actually, let me show you. If you hold this voice command for a few seconds, well, I think, I think you should start the car first time. Let me start the car for a second, now it should work. Navigate to Paris. Navigating to Paris. So you can see how simple it is to use it. And also guys, keep in mind, I wanna show you something because I will have, I will have a lot of question for you guys. Keep in mind. Here you will see the navigation from Google and from Android, but here on the screen, you will see, you will still see this navigation from the car. So that's somehow inconvenient. So you cannot have that navigation from the Android phone on the cockpit, but look at this in the corner there, you can see some kind of direction. It will show you the directions. Check this out, the same street with the same direction you can see it right there in the corner you cannot see the full map but you can see the direction and if i'm not wrong let me try to change that navigation and let me try to change it yes you can see right now you have it in the middle and you you can see the direction but you cannot see the map the map will still be the old old map so that's something to keep in mind only direction. Anyway, it's very simple to use it, the same as on the mobile phone, and it's also very responsive on this screen. If you wanna go forward, you can use the other uh, application from the phone, like uh, the music, you can hear music here. You have the charging map if you have electric car, um, and then you have the messengers from Facebook, the messages, the Skype, if you use Skype, plug, share, uh, WhatsApp and all that application that you have it on your phone, you have it also here. Spotify, of course, but I disinstall it from the phone, but usually it should be here. I will install it again, but it's, it's really, really cool and really simple uh, how you can use that. Uh, I think I 
cover everything it's very simple also when you want to go back simply press those menu buttons you go back if you want to go in android you press it and then you are back to android anyway that was the video guys super simple super easy super fast i hope you get some useful information from this video if you like it please like it share it and also subscribe to the channel if you want to see the newest cars and videos that will come on my channel thank you very much for watching as always stay safe and see you soon in the next one Bye, guys.